subtracting decimals. So the big thing when you add and subtract decimals is you've got to make sure that you line the decimals up. So when I look right here, even if some of these didn't have some of these decimal places, I would still line the decimals straight up because they all have place values. This is the tenths place, the hundredths place, the thousandths place. And you all know like when you're talking about money, the ones place and the tens place makes a whole lot of difference. So when I go to do that, I'm going to line those up. And then this one goes right underneath it. And then after I've lined them all up, I'm going to add just like I normally would. Carry the numbers and everything. So 7 plus 1 is 8. 7 plus 6 is going to give me 13. Carry the 1. 5 plus 3 is 8 plus 1 is 9. And then that decimal comes straight down. 4 plus 5 is 9. And 3 plus 6 is also 9.